Hey there, it's Linda Cromar. I'm coming to you from my home office in Colorado. And today I'm going to talk about how important it is to get away from all of the hate, all of the rhetoric, all of the political garbage. You know, I don't care what your pol politics are. You know what? I don't want to hear it. I used to spread it just as much as you're doing now. But let me tell you what it really does. It causes division causes pain and it causes a lot of upset it doesn't matter what your opinion is yes stay informed but just talk about it with your friends and family it doesn't need to be all over Facebook one thing I have realized is that I was actually having a serious problem with getting so upset about the things that were happening and things are not going to get better just because we're upset what really matters is to take real action. If you want to take action against something you don't like, get into a group that, that actually does something, like protests, for instance, letter writing to your, uh, your authorities in your area, whether it's state, local, or federal. Find out what the email and phone number is of your local senator and uh, various different things like that. That is how you get change. You don't get change by putting it out on Facebook and posting all over the place. All that does is cause a lot of arguments. Is it worth it? You know, and I decided it wasn't. You know, I'm not on Facebook to do political. I'm on Facebook to build my business. Truly, that's the honest to God reason why I'm there. I do connect with family and friends as well, but I do spend a lot of my energy and time building up relationships with people that are possibly going to become one of my partners. I don't have time for the political stuff. And the, the, the stupidest thing yet is the Dr. Seuss situation. You know, I grew up on Dr. Seuss. I read it to my children. There's nothing strange or stupid in those books, except for that just a lot of fun. I mean, if you think about it, reading can be tedious if you don't have something fun to read. And when you had funny little nonsense words and, and all of that stuff, that helped people actually learn to read better and faster. And I felt like it was a benefit. And there's a lot of good books like that. Uh, they don't have to be political to be good books, for heaven's sakes. Why do we have to make everything a political argument? Why? All it does is cause a lot of upset. And I felt it in my gut. I was starting to have stomach problems and I sleep problems. And I was angry all the time. And it was because I was concentrating on that stuff. And I was watching it every day. And I was talking about it every day and I got out of that I stopped I stopped the crazy and I think everybody needs to think about that stop the crazy if you don't stop it nobody will and everybody has to participate in the stopping of the crazy there is nothing that you can post that's going to help people as much as just getting out there and doing the right stuff. If you seriously have something you want to change, then there are ways to make that happen. But there are ways to not make that happen, and that's very, very important. So let's stop the crazy. Let's stop the hate. Let's stop the rhetoric. It's not helping. It's causing more upset. It's causing people to divide. And guess what? That's what the powers to be actually want. They want division. They want you to be angry at somebody because of their beliefs. And that's crazy. We don't need to do that. We live in a country, if you're in the United States, and I am, we live in a country that was founded on the principles of letting people have their own opinions and their own beliefs. And why should we be ostracizing people now for that? That's wrong. And, and I even see people saying, I'm all for forcing vaccinations. Well, that's wrong. We still have our own personal rights and our own personal selves. And we should have control over our own selves, not anyone else's. And that's really what this is about. When you start getting into the hate and the rhetoric and all of that stuff, what you're really doing 
is you're trying to control someone else's opinion, someone else's beliefs, and you can't do that. So you may as well stop. Yes, you can have a discussion if somebody's open to it, but a lot of the time people just aren't. And if you are trying to force your way of looking at things on someone else, you're the problem, not them. It doesn't matter if you don't like how they think about things. It really doesn't. When we live in a world where everyone is forced to do everything the way someone else thinks it should go, then we're no longer free people. And that is a really big problem. Maybe it sounds like a good idea to force things on other people, including the vaccinations, but it really doesn't. Because you don't know if their health would actually be deterred by some things. And some people do have problems with vaccines. It's not up to us to decide that. And this isn't about vaccines. This isn't about the present president or not president or whatever. It, it's not about that. It's about let's stop fighting. Let's stop pushing our ideology on everyone else and, and, and getting angry with them when they don't believe you and they don't share the same beliefs. We live in this country and we're very blessed to live here, but we should not be letting the society at large force everything. That is wrong. And so let's stop the hate. Let's stop the rhetoric. Let's get back to a pleasant conversation. That's so very important. I hope you understand where I'm coming from. I'm coming from a place of love. I really believe people need to have the opportunity to trust and love from their own place, whatever that is. And we don't have a right to tell them that that's wrong. And that's where I'm coming from. And I hope you understand. And that's all I'm going to say on the subject because I'm going to stay in a good physical and emotional place. And I refuse to get into the arguments that are going on all over the place because they don't actually win. And even if you do voice your opinion on a political subject, you get all these bots that come back at you and say nasty things. What's the point in that? What's that? What's that really about? Is that real? No. But it causes a lot of strife and upset. And my for run just don't have the time and energy to do that. I'm done. I'm totally done. In fact, I'd gladly give up my, my uh, Facebook political page if somebody wanted to buy it for a few hundred dollars. That's really where I'm coming from right now. Bye for now.